Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at Software Update. So Software Update is one of those parts of Mac OS X that you kind of take for granted. But there are several settings that you can adjust and things that might be useful to know about Software Update. Let's take a look. So while Software Update runs automatically every day, week, or month, you can run it manually at any time by choosing Apple Menu Software Update and it'll take about a minute or two sometimes to check for new updates. So when it's done, you get this, which gives you three choices, either to show the details for the updates, uh, skip the update for now, or just update without even looking at the details. Usually you want to click on show details and see the complete list. Here we've got three updates that are ready to be installed. You can check or uncheck each one, to determine what exactly gets installed right now, and you get information in the middle there about each install. Now notice at the bottom it says that you must restart your computer after the updates are installed. But if I T-select Safari and Mac OS X and just leave iTunes, that goes away. That means iTunes by itself doesn't need a restart. Now another thing I could do here is I could ignore an update. So you do that by going to Update, Ignore Update with the update selected. So the reasons you may want to do this are, say, if it's an update for something you're not really using, like maybe you have the trial of iWork and you don't need the updates because you don't use it, you don't actually have the full version. So you would want to maybe skip it completely. And that means that not only will that update skip, but future updates for that software will not appear here in Software Update. If you've done that a few times and want to see what it is that you've skipped or maybe uh, start updating something you weren't updating before, you can go to Reset Ignored updates and it will put all the ignored up the updates back in this list and you can ignore the ones you want to keep ignoring and leave other ones there to update from now on. Now if you want to change your preferences you can do that right here from software update. You can also go to the system preferences and look for the software update set. Either way it's going to bring up the same thing which will be system preferences for software update. So you can <clears throat> schedule the checks for weekly daily or monthly right here. Uh, you can also select to download updates automatically which means updates will automatically download in the background but uh, won't actually install until you run software update and say it's okay. Now one reason you may not want to have that checked say on a laptop is if you're on different Wi-Fi connections say at school or at work or traveling and you just don't want it to use the bandwidth uh, until you get home. You can also see a list of installed software here it shows you the complete list of everything software update has done just so you have a record. Now if ever for some reason you want to download something manually and not use software update, there's a way to do that right here inside of software update itself. You can go to the go to Apple downloads page link and that will launch Safari and take you to the downloads page which should have all the different downloads that are available in software update, at least the major ones, and you can download them manually and install them yourself. Now this could be very useful if you have more than one Mac in your house and you want to download this once and sort of distribute it to all your computers instead of each one running its own software update. You can get to this page yourself uh, without using software update by just going to support.apple.com slash downloads. I recommend if you have a desktop machine and a good broadband connection to set software update for daily. If you're traveling a lot or maybe your connection isn't that fast, set it to weekly. But I don't ever recommend setting it to monthly or turning it off and relying on remembering to do it manually. If you have a MacBook, it's very easy just to dismiss the software update if it appears while you're traveling or away from home and then get back to it later. I update everything immediately as soon as it appears in Software Update. There are others that prefer to wait to see if there's any critical flaw in a new version of, say, Safari or iTunes or OS X. But I don't do that. I find those problems are very rare and only happen to a few machines when they do happen. And it's just far better to actually keep your machine up to date when an update appears. And of course, software updates only for Mac OS X and any Apple software. Any third-party software usually has its own update functions. Sometimes it's a menu choice, sometimes it happens automatically when you run the program. So make sure not only to keep all of your Apple software up to date, but all your third-party software as well. Hope you like this look at software update. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.